and Liv and welcome back to another video of our Mesha Twins Marathon. We are so excited for this week and today's video is a very exciting one. So today we are going to be doing a formal or prom inspired look. So we'll be showing you a makeup look and our outfits and our hair. Our gorgeous dresses are from Sisters the Label. We also have a discount code for you guys if you do want to shop with them. It's just Mesha50. Yeah. So I'm sure a lot of you have formals coming up. We thought this would be a really good video for you guys. Yeah, and it's definitely being requested as well. So don't forget to follow us on all our other social medias because that's how we like to communicate to you guys. Yeah, and you can see these looks in photos and stuff like that. Yeah. If you want to see these looks that we have both put together, then keep on watching. Okay, so we're going to start with our makeup first and we're just going to get straight into it. So I'm going to start just by priming my face and concealing my eyelids. And I'm just going to start with my eyebrows. We use the Anastasia Beverly Hills for both our brows. I'm just going to prime my face with a little bit of the Jane Iredale primer. It's like a smooth affair so it does a bit of illuminating and brightening as well. So I'm just starting by lining underneath my brows. So I'm going to conceal my eyelids. I'm just going to use the CoverGirl Ready Set Gorgeous Concealer because I find it really good. As you can see, I haven't really touched my inner corner too much, but I'm just going to lightly brush over it. So now I'm just going to brush all that out so it doesn't look too harsh. So I'm just going to set my eyelid concealer. I'm just using the Bare Minerals pressed powder. And now that's done, I'm going to get into my brows and I'm just going to use the same as what Olivia used. I'm just going to line what I've done with my brows using a little thin angle brush and Anastasia Beverly Hills Contour Kit. I'm going to use the light shade. So I'm just going to blend that with a beauty blender. Now I'm going to conceal my eyelid. Okay, so I just finished with my brows and so now I'm just yeah. going to brush my eyebrow hairs with the Maybelline Brow Drama. Um, it's a good drugstore product, I think. So I'm going to go back in with the CoverGirl Ready Set Gorgeous Concealer just to clean up around my brows. So now I'm going to use the Bare Minerals powder, pat that down. And now I'm just going to go in with the Maybelline Brow Drama. So now we're going to both start getting into our eyeshadow. Basically, I'm going to try and accomplish a burnt orange kind of transition shade and then a gold kind of in a corner. Yeah, I'm going to try and do gold and I'm going to try and do a glitter crease. So I'm going to start with the transition shade and I'm just going to start with a really light colour. You probably see that we use a lot of the Huda Beauty Desert Dusk palette. I'm going to go in with Musk. So I'm going to go in with a bit of blazing for my crease. It's quite a bright orange. Now I'm going to go in with the Too Faced Chocolate Bar Palette and I'm going to use a little bit of peanut and truffle because they will give me a little bit of a golden glow and I'm just going to go over what I just did. Now I'm going to go in with a slightly slimmer brush and do the same colour. So I'm just like slowly doing it and really building the colour. So I've just done like a darker version of my transition shade and now I'm going to go in with a bit more colour. So I'm going to go back to the Desert Dusk and use some of the orangey goldy colours. So maybe amber, blazing. I might use just a little bit of the colour peanut from the Too Faced Chocolate Bar Palette just to soften the bright orange part of my eyeshadow. So I've just built my crease colour a lot more and darkened the outer corners a tiny bit. Yeah, added a bit of a more brown tone in there as well. So I'm now going to go in with Amber in the Desert Dusk palette. So I'm going to continue that on my outer corner and yeah, just build the crease. So as you can see, I've now got a lot more colour in there. I'm going to get an even thinner brush and I'm going to start patting it right in my outer corner. So that's going to be a lot darker. Okay. 
Okay, so I'm just going to go in with a tiny bit of ore. I'm just going to do a little bit on my outer corner. I'm going to use the CoverGirl concealer and I'm going to start lightening up my inner corner. And we're going to clean up that edge too, but I'm just going to do the other eye. I've got this new Real Techniques brush and it's really good. Yeah, how good is yeah, that? It's amazing. Too. Yeah. First, I'm going to go back in with the Huda Beauty and use the transition shades that I was using to fix up some of the colour. I'm going to lighten with some concealer, just my inner corner. And remember, this look is a formal look, so you can go as full out as you want. So now I'm going to spray some MAC Fix Plus, and I'm literally just going to go in with highlighter. Now we're going to go back in with the dark colours and clean up the sides. So I've really brightened my inner corner and okay so now I'm just going to glitter up my inner corner. I'm going to go in with the new Tarte Chrome Paint Shadow Pot and it's a really pretty gold glitter yeah, colour. that's gorgeous. So I'm actually going to go with like a gold gel liner. This one's from Tarte. Literally going to go along the top of my crease. I've just primed my face yeah. and I used the Jane Iredale Smooth Affair Primer and I also went in with Stiller One Step Correcting Concealer. It's really good for getting rid of redness and different colours on your skin. So we both primed our face and now we're both going to go in with the Estee Lauder Double Wear Foundation. So now we're ready to use some concealer and get some definition into our face. I'm going to start with concealing under my eyes first. I'm just going to use the CoverGirl Ready Set Gorgeous again. So now that we have concealed, I'm just going to begin with a little bit of cream contour. I'm only going to do a little bit on my cheekbone. I'm using the LA Girl Seala and honestly, I'm using the colour Chestnut. I'm just using the Anastasia Beverly Hills palette. I'm only doing a little bit and I'm going to also bring it up to my forehead. The nose. I love doing nose contour. So now I'm going to bake under my eyes with the Laura Mercier Translucent Powder. So I have gone and done all my cream contour. I'm just going to now go in with our Laura Mercier Powder. And I'm going to put a little bit under here, a little bit under here. And then I'm going to go in with a big powder brush with, and our Bare Minerals powder and I'm just going to blend everything in. Okay, I'm just going to bronze my face up and I'm going to use the Too Faced Chocolate Soleil. Okay, so now that we've bronzed and everything, we're going to do a little bit of blush and our highlighter. Now I'm going to go in and start highlighting. I got Illuminating Balm and we're going to go in with Liquid Highlighter first. Honestly, this is a formal look. You can never have too much highlighter, especially if you're going for that glowy look. Now we're going to use the actual highlighter. This is also what I use on a day-to-day -day basis for highlighter. Everyone asks what highlighter you use. This is what I use. It's the DB Cosmetics Up in Lights palette. And I mainly just use them two there. I'm going to add some of the Too Faced Candlelight as well. We just did our lower lash line using the colours we used on our outer corner. Now I'm using the Charlotte Tilbury in the colour Super Size Me. And I'm just going to use the Too Faced Lip Liner in the shade Perfect Nude. And now I'm using Napoleon Luminous Lip Bell in the shade Malted Milkshake. I'm just going to use this same lip gloss. We 
We're really happy with how our makeup turned out and we can't wait to show you the completed prom inspired look. So this is our finished prom inspired look. All of our jewellery is from Fortnstar. Our gorgeous dresses are from Sisters the Label. Yeah, they have so many amazing dresses and new styles coming out as well for a formal. So definitely check them out. And we do also have a discount code for you guys. If you do want to shop with them, it's just Mesha50. Be yeah. sure to use that. That'll give you a bit of a discount on any styles you like on their website. For my hair, I just went with some really natural loose curls. I also pinned it at the back and I put two little clips in. I just put two clips in the back because I have so much going on up here. I didn't want my hair out. So I just did a low bun, which if you went to the hairdressers, you could get a nice styled bun and just got some curls at the front. So we really hope you guys enjoyed this inspired formal or prom look. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and let us know. And make sure you subscribe so you can stay tuned for the rest of our Mesha Twins Marathon and we'll see you next time. Bye!